Earlier this month, President Trump directed the EPA to change the rules and allow gas stations to sell E15 year-round. Right now, it's not allowed during the summer driving season. E15 is a blend of 15% ethanol and 85% regular gasoline. I was recently joined by Sarah Caswell of the Nebraska Ethanol Board to learn what this news means for the ag industry. In these times, um, ethanol, which is generally conventional ethanol is made from cornstarch, um, it provides an extra value stream for farmers. And so we are currently, we also have oversupply issues mm -hmm. um, and it provides another value stream so that that oversupply is less than it otherwise would be, which then keeps the commodity prices um, or helps keep the pr commodity prices as high as they can be, um, even though they're generally low right now. Uh -huh. um, so we're hoping that with the policy support from a year-round E15 sales and other things, a strong renewable fuel standard, et cetera, um, that farmers will you know, continue to have um, the current market and then even a, a more bolstered market going forward, which will then, of course, help, even further help with um, supply issues, commodity price issues, et cetera. So it, it's really important for farmers, especially now. And uh, at a recent rally in Council Bluffs, uh, President Trump said that he is going to, quote, unleash the power of E15. What does that mean for farmers? Well, we're hoping that that's <laughs> the case. Um, it means a lot for farmers. Uh -huh. he, um, President Trump is directing his EPA to basically engage in a rulemaking process that we hope will be completed by next summer. Um, reason is, is that there's an archaic rule um, that I won't bore you with the details sure. of, but um, retailers can sell E15 anywhere in the United States except for during the summer driving season, which is between June 1st and September 15th. And so this unleashing mm -hmm. that President Trump is talking about sure. would basically be up, going through a rulemaking process to update that old rule to allow the year-round sales of E15 throughout the whole country. Um, and we're hoping that that happens because there are some statistics that show that if this happens over the next five years, it could increase ethanol demand by 1.3 billion gallons, which would mean a huge new market for farmers and hopefully would help with um, commodity uh, prices and, and, and sales. So what would you tell someone who says that this new proposal is going to have uh, consequences for the environment? The funny thing is it's actually going to have good consequences for the environment. Um, this old rule was made back in 1990 when E15 wasn't really on anyone's radar screen. Uh, and basically it's a, the technical ter term is a reed vapor pressure waiver. Um, and so during the summer driving months, June 1st to September 15th, um, there's a RVP 1% waiver given to uh, E10 because of the evaporative emissions that comes out of a tailpipe during the, sum the heat. Mm -hmm. um, and the funny thing is, is that the more ethanol that you have in uh, blended in gasoline, the less evaporative emissions, the less uh, pollution that goes into the air. So from a scientific perspective and an air pollution perspective, um, there really is no concern here.